What's up guys, this is the Brofan and I am back to bring the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Danish Empire or Denmark. As you can see, we are where we left off, we are taking Hyderabad after a successful attack or invasion in Karnataka. Um, so they do have reinforcements, um, but I don't think it should be much of a problem. We've got lots of melee troops, we're going to absolutely want to take them apart piece by piece. So let's attack. We're not going to want to do anything, because um, while my units are elite, or fairly elite, and what I don't want is to um, throw them into you and them a suitable opportunity to be shot to bits with cannons to at least soften them up. And because it being the, the native factions, I'm going to probably want to keep my army together. Because the thing is, with, with, they can, because they are so effective, they can... Ooh. So let's drop my guns right at the back. Awesome. Um, just a minute, I've got to cough a second. Right there. Very professional, as you can see. So. Um, okay. So, let's keep the fusiliers and some line in front of us. And then we're because they've got mortars, I'm going to want to probably hunker back a bit until we've got the walls breached. So let's do that. Let's get the first Kalmar with the assault divisions. Keep our artillery, our cavalry back. Keep the general back. Good. And I haven't even unlimbered my troops. But uh, let's check to see if their mortars can fire. Where are they? Nope. So unfortunately I have got some shots off on us. Because I have been silly. There are the reinforcements coming in on the map, but that's okay, I'm not bothered about them. But let's just get the... Get the usual plan going. Most of them might actually be trying to... Looks like they might be trying to do something offensive. Oh no, they've changed their minds. I mean, I'm going to want to target that with my guns, probably, considering it's an absolute mess of infantry. Killing these mortars is going to be a, a main concern, but then again... Uh, the Indian factions, they like to, similar to the native factions, they like to just swarm you. Like, these guys are within range, but I can't actually shoot at them. Maybe if I click attack ground, it might just destroy this section here. See if I knock this down, if I can open up my line of sight to the central block, because that would be extremely handy. Yeah, so we've got time sped up because right now nothing else is really happening. There's a unit of guns there which might be handy too. Intercede outside of the outside of the fort, but I don't want to provoke there. Right. So now let's try. Hey, some of them will actually engage that centre square. So who is doing that? You are just you. Okay, let's group these guys into a different unit. Get them to attack those units. And yeah, I want the, this, this unit here to fire off as many shots as it can into that central blob. Killed some elephants, I've killed some Gurkhas. really soften them up. Actually, I might get get this battery of three guns just to aim at this breach, considering there's just loads of camels. Ooh, some lovely shots, some lovely bounces as well. Just blast the camels. 
it looks like they're being sent on a suicidal charge. So let them get an opening volley, then we'll form square. They form a great line of squares. Let's convince them that it might not be worth doing. Just keep the cannon fire going. Should be enough to make these guys oh, change their minds. Come on, camels. Can't make up their mind if they want to charge or not. They are just on the edge of musket range. Good. Because how are the middle shots doing? I see lots of dead Gurkhas, and that's good because Gurkhas are very strong. Okay, let's get making another breach. Oh no. There are still some camels. Let's so keep shooting at them. Don't like camels. They're better than my. Well, they can defeat my cavalry. And they're not actually that terrible in combat. Although we seem to be... not shooting at them. So go for these two fangies. Does that make you fire? Yes, it does. Ooh, who's that? Ooh, General's bodyguard is wavering. That'd be delicious. I probably want to see if I can specifically target the mortars. But look, how can I, how can I resist just not letting that do more work? Especially when you know they've got all these melee troops. Let's make another hole. Actually, let's see if I can attack ground near them. Nope, it looks like it is a pure line of sight issue for some of them. Try hitting that Gurkha unit specifically. Oh, they can hit that Gurkha unit. Delicious. So any missed shots or long shots should go into the pack too. That's lovely. Let's watch some of these shots come in. Oh. So what, so they've lost 70, 76 men. Everyone's lost something, which is good. Not so bothered about reinforcing dervishes. Dervishes, Sikhs, Pikes. Now let's, as we've got a good good rhythm of fire going, let's see if we can make them do something a little silly. So let's group up two units of heavy cav and bring them out on the flank. Let's group two units of cavalry to go to follow up in the middle with the general. Is there any two? The general and one of his friends, they're the only ones left alive. So ideally he dies. Because this is a lot of pikes, gurkhas, lancers, dervishes, lots of melee infantry. It would be nice if we could provoke a attack, like a sally, that would be quite nice. But eventually we will come within range of their mortar batteries. And we could target them specifically, but this central area is so much more valuable, I think, because you're getting kills across the board. If I had mortars, I'd be incrementally moving up my mortars where I can drop quick climb on this formation. It's, it could be on my general that gets mortared. Oh, 
the regiment of horse. Let's just get my cavalry to kill this unit of levy before they occupy up too much of my time. Probably not a good idea to do this. Turn fire will off so they don't shoot each other in the back so so often. These guys can shoot. Got my actual gun team to focus on. God, that's a lot of troops. Also, we might actually be able to make them try Sally out. Hit the dervishes. The hope is something like this should allow us to get a make a bit more of a killing field. This artillery piece to keep sniping at their mortar battery. Good, a limited dervish charge would be quite acceptable as long as they don't, as long as the full artillery doesn't suck up all my shots. Got a union of grenadiers to block up this position. Square here. Ooh, friendly fire of the least friendly. It actually might even send the Uno Fasars over here to go pick up those Gurkhas once they've left the pack. No Grenadiers, come back. This is nice of them. A mortar an artillery battery's actually managed to uh, good charge the Gurkhas. Let's get these guys further up. So are these guys, Sikh warriors. But they've lost lots of their men. It is open fire. Whoa, where are you going? Let's 
It's very nice of them to come running out of the city like this. The trouble is, it's annoying that my marines have tried to run in through the breach. That's why I don't want them. Got one unit here, ready to break water for their armies as they come in. And let's get these guys to engage their mortars and howitzers and so on. These guys are going to get absolutely decimated as they retreat through my men. Because the morale's so badly shot, we may as well go in. Okay, this is done. So let's run my guys in so they all form a line. Let's bring this cavalry unit back. Same with you. charge them in as a group. Awesome. Let's get in there. Let's hold my heart to fire. It's probably not going to be as needed now. These guys might be in a bit of trouble, but they've got marines. Well, attempting to attack down the slope. Let's get everyone in. You guys massacre all these guys that are bugged out here. Take out the garrison mortar crews, and then you guys can plonk yourselves down onto the gate. Oh no, Fusiliers versus an elephant. Oh no, this is the first come up. First come up, got him. Artillery fire. Continue the attack. Come on, just give him a jab. Completely bugged out trying to kill them. Turning. Oh no, it's a routing go, okay. Let's just take up positions again. Oh, Dervish has hit my cavalry. So let's get this infantry out of the way. And let's try and execute the mortar crews. Chap. Q 
killed us last year in Van Populus. He's a very experienced. The reinforcements are trying to come in, but it's not going to work. Speed up time a little bit. Kill this last Indian Royal Guard. Oh god, another pikeman. Got him. Just set up a gun line to fire into this breach at whoever remains. Everyone else just sit around happy. First regiment and the second regiment. So they just take a spot here and just shoot at them. Camels, Gurkhas, Farlacon Populus. End battle with a heroic victory. First major victory. Be ready for what comes next. Lost 800 men. City is ours. Cannot afford to rebuild. Cannot afford to do much replenishment, so we might have to do some jigging. You recruiting more? One unit of infantry guards. Let's go to Satara. <clears throat> Sorry, I clear my throat. One more time, a sec. Right here. Awesome. Um, yeah, it's a good victory for us. It's unfortunate we can't repair anything. We can do a bit of replenishment. Um, like, we'll have to do this. And then this. And then let's march up. Unit of Sipoys up to Hyderabad. Be careful, conscious of these guys, because they are moving in. Lots of camels, though. Hyderabad is ours, and then let's get back to the Americas, and everything seems to be... Ah, uh, yes, you! Oh, that's a quick... that's an auto-design... auto-resolve, that's all that is. Let's get him into port. Let's destroy the shipyard. And the pirates have been destroyed! Awesome. But obviously I am much more concerned about... This. So, diplomacy... I don't want to give money away. Trade. No, hostile Venice won't do it. Come on, Spain, let's trade. Dang it. Cool, let's hit N10. So I'm going to have to pour lots of money into India. To maintain my holdings there, because we all know what the well, what, what happens to the Mughals? They'll send stack off, stack off, stack off, stack, but then eventually they just run out of steam, and then they they can't send any more after you. I may end up having to pull her without, being, which is what I'm hoping. Iceland for nineteen grand. No, because it's one of our proper regions. If it was just, if it was a Caribbean island, then maybe, but because it is not, then no. Yep, so here come, here come the Indians to take it back. They are bringing in lots of troops, and they've obviously they're going to blockade my port. Ooh, do I want to intercept? No. In one way I think I should have, but... Okay, do you know, Georgia, Courland... And I don't, I don't... I don't think I didn't see that Mughal navy with an army on board. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Ignore all of these. Replenish. To be honest, I might have bunched my marines up. 
It's unfortunate I've lost an experienced unit, but get some more East India Company infantry up there. So I can't recruit anything because everything is already destroyed. You're already replenished, so I think the next best thing I can do is build up a garrison at Karnataka. Probably lay off spending much money on economy at this time. Fleet arrives. Some more galleons. Go then, secure this trade post. Good, bringing in lots of cash from spice trade. Okay, so. Ah, something I do need to do is from my Patreon is recruit three units of expatriate infantry, then get, get ready to rename them. And I would like, if possible, to get them to India for a bit of support. Colonel, let's destroy you, so I don't need you. I suppose it's worth it's it's impossible asking them for a brief peace. Hey, we got it. So you guys might be asking, might be thinking, why did I do that? That sounds a bit dumb. Um, it gives me breathing space. It allows me to build up my forces in Hyderabad itself. It also means I'm not immediately going to get attacked by all of these guys. Well, maybe not. I might not get many turns, but I'll still get some space. So is the first Kalmar. There you are. Let's just do this. So I want to keep the first Kalmar more experienced. So right now they're on experience they're on experience level four. Awesome. It also means that they they break their siege, and it does mean that we can then decide to spend some money on good stuff like gems gem mines. Cool. I am I am going to declare war on them again. Um, I just want to take I just want to have a bit of time to breathe. They could declare war on me. Um, uh, no, I don't want to give you. I don't want wedge formation. So it could. Well, there's one way this could backfire, and it's if. Crop rotation for three grand. Go on then. Um, there's one way this could backfire, which I should really have looked at before I did this, is are they currently allied with France? Uh, so France is the only one. 13 colonies homeland in the North, North America. I've got lots of... Do you have those two sort of useful armies? God, Russia's... Dropping off all the truth, or well, dropping off all the bonus bombs. Give me Jamaica back and Don Voice Co., which I don't want. Give me two um, farming industry tax and 19 grand. No, but I'll tell you what, you are brilliant. Gotta love your gumption. Ask for a Caribbean territory and I might sell it to you. Oh, damn, that stupid, stupid Mughal. No, wait, have they, have they declared war on me again? I thought, oh, I thought we made peace, they'd send it home. But no matter, they will temporarily take Iceland from me, then I'll send my London army up over there to take it back. I thought the peace had solved this problem. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. Okay, so agree the port, sugar plantations, repair the governor's building, build basic roads. New town in Sweden, absolutely go for industrial stuff. Let's get some more furs on the trade market. 
plantations could be upgraded. Let's go for the Weaver's Cottage and probably buy another commercial. Let's buy it for Greenwich. Methinks they're going to declare war on me. Or this could be just a continuation of their move. I don't want to move my army yet because this could just be a feint. Let's upgrade the iron workshops. Well, let's just get them ready to move in case they do declare on me next turn. The artillery is the, 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 the uh, barracks is the main focus. Let's get this infantry up into the theatre. Good stuff. Good. Now I feel better because we're also going to have to start. We're also starting to churn out infantry in Karnataka, which I can't actually improve anymore. So it has to build two a turn. Ceylon cannot yet build howitzers. Are we building a gunnery school anywhere? Oh yeah, we're building one in Ceylon. I am an idiot. Are we building any anywhere else? Nope. Okay, that needs to change. Of course you're a happy drinker. Let's get some repairs on the go, because eventually you are then going to go hit Caracas. Oh no, actually we're at peace with Spain. We're at peace with damn near anyone. Everyone. So if the French go for me, it's going to be New France that's going to be... Oh, I'm an idiot. I've gone completely into 13 colonies mode. If France declares on me, then I'll probably hit... You're probably be landing on the mainland. Well, defeating this navy first. So what have they got? Damaged ships. Fifth, sixth privateers and galleys. Aha! And our expat infantry. So, the request was the 45th. So, the first one was... Okay, I'm going to get rid of... A foot. 45. 46th Nordic Nordic Legion Regiment 47th Swedish Legion Regiment Does look right good and then the 48th Finnish Legion Regiment. So then let's take this sloop. Let's get the new Nordic, one on the Nordic, the Scandinavian Legions. Let's get them deployed to India. So that is a Patreon benefit to, to name units and everything. Everything you need is in the description. Um, right. You're on the march to Paris already, that's good. Okay, let's take this navy bar the sloop back take to Malmo to help protect Copenhagen. Awesome stuff. So we are researching the right things for tech. I'd like to go get quick land, but I cannot yet for a few turns. Let's hit end turn, and let's see if the Maratha Confederates, not the Marathas, the Mughal Empire do declare on me. At least I've got a sizable garrison in Karnataka, which I'd like to expand to another army. Top gave them support, and Hindustan may end up becoming a bit of a breakwater for lots of their forces, and I might end up having to build some more forts nearby. The Austrians have been pushed back from the French. By the French. Oop. 
And the opposite has happened. They've really teached to Munich. You want all this technology for just lime juice and sauerkraut? No. Not good. Yes, the longer the longer I have with peace, uh, the better I can solidify my position. Like I said, I suspect they'll declare on me. Kind of formally declaring that my build-up is done. And I don't need any more time. Whereas I would like it again, realistically. Oh, you don't want merch, do you? Ukraine, Bashkira, and Northwest Territories, no. The swines. So, are they going to pick up an army and sail it to Europe? Because they want to sail them somewhere. But I take it they have not moved this army from Iceland. So, so, so. There is unused land suitable for farming. Let's build a church school, start to proselytize the region. Brothel is okay because it allows me to get spies. Let's get some more stuff for trade. Let's get better roads. Ceylon. One more turn you can recruit some good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to want to start to get some howitzers up there. Because this is quite a nice little army at the minute. Start to build up some Eastern India come from Jumbo Tree, some Sepoys, and two units of Grenadiers. Because I want this to start to become the core of my garrison force. Have I recruited all my Grenadiers? Yep, just six units. Let's upgrade to rice farming estates. Let's go for cheap upgrades in a minute, and then let's get some new roads. Because I want to try to increase or reduce the rate at which it takes for these armies to reinforce each other. Get company cavalry unit because then we'll soon have the have the makings of a, a colonial army to march somewhere up to Katak maybe. Oh, okay, let's antagonise them a bit. Got him. Awesome. Um. But looking at the timer, I have overran. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this battle and the setup of the future of this region. And yeah, I've got my eye on them because they are going to. They're probably going to come in and land and invade me somewhere in Britain. So. At some point, I'm going to have to just bite the bullet and attack them. Yeah, see, they, they have blocked. They have blocked this port in, but I'm not really doing anything that needs this port. So at some point, I need to jump on them and attack them, or I could just. Are we feeling good now? Potentially, I've got lots of recruitment going. I've got recruitment going to Karnataka. I could jump on them with both of my navies as I have them in sight and sink them both. Allies with Persia and Prussia. Persia is a bit frustrating because I'm trading with them. Prussia, don't care about. Oh, actually, I kind of do. Well, at least I've got my navy here. Ah, yes. Let's bring out more of my primary ships. Let's take my war galleon. Go over to join them in the East Indies. So 
four three here. Mm, two use of heavy cab and some grenadiers. Let's get you. You are too. That's too useful to leave in Ceylon. Drop them off the coast of Arcot. Let's get him back to port. Because then we could be ready to march. Because they're not at war with Mysore. Can I trade with Mysore? Nope. Sadly not, because I want to do it by sea. To be honest, it could be worth attacking Mysore. Valuable region, lots of stuff. Lots of armies, though, so I probably want to try to beat them on the field once. Okay, so... I've got my navy here, placed in case the Prussians want to do anything sneaky. I have... Should I just get my sloop out to Visby, just so it doesn't get brought into the battle. I think I've got to do it while I've got both of their navies, like, trapped. Declare war. Call in Poland and R Prussia. Poland and Russia. Persia's joined them, and Prussia's joined them. Interesting. So it gives me a new... Gives me some... Oh, choose them. Oh. Just ought to resolve it. So that, that was the goal. We managed to sink that army before it can do anything annoying. Let's get them back to port. We are at war and they're probably going to hate us for it. Pay as many ships as I can. Go over to India. Take this navy. Attack the army. Because that's a decent army to wipe off the map in such an easy fashion. Yeah, I'll take the fifth rate. So long, fellas. Get them back to the port of Colombo. And repair as many ships as I can. And get ready. Get ready for the fun. Anyway, I saw I was going to end the part and I've carried on. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Denmark. Cheers, guys.